hey guys hi so today we are with another uh, very tricky interview question and also a very popular one okay so you can see here right here right in the presentation so it says difference between dot equals and double equal to right so you while attending the selenium interview question uh, selenium interviews you must have faced this question many times like um I'll, I'll tell you exactly okay so let me open my notepad okay so here i am so you would have faced it multiple times right so you would have been given this type something of this sort written in a blank paper and with a question that okay uh, can you help me with the output for these right and it's it's really really confusing right so and and this gets a deciding factor for many in many interviews okay so today in this particular video we would be understanding the insights of this dot equals and double equal how do they actually work and trust me guys if you watch this video till the end you will never get this answer wrong okay maybe any scenario if you are given an output of these questions or you have been asked anything related to this you would be able to answer it correctly okay so just just stay with me okay so before we answer this particular question we need to understand a concept called java string constant pool so there is a concept called string constant pool in java okay i won't be moving into much insights but there is something which you really need to understand in order to get to this concept okay so that will be talking so for that i'll open my paint okay okay so uh i'm bad in drawing so just stay with me okay so say guys this is your heap okay so this is your java heap memory and then this is the string constant pool okay so uh okay string constant pool okay so inside a heap memory there is always a string constant pool now it's not mandatory that there can be only one string constant pool there can be any 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 number of string constant pool okay so say i declare a variable called string a equals to ekta right that's what i've written here so what happens internally internally what happens is it declares a variable called a and within this string constant pool it writes ekta okay so what is a string constant pool string constant pool is an area which is being assigned inside the heap area and it stores all the literal values it stores all the string literal values like i have said string a equals to ekta so it declared a variable called a and it said that okay i have stored this value ekta in my string constant pool okay now after that what i did was i declared another variable called b and this variable also holds the same value okay i said okay string b also equals to ekta so keeping the memory uh, resource allocations in mind it doesn't want to java doesn't want to lose all its memory right so it always thinks that okay how can i save as much memory as i could okay so therefore what it does is it comes when you say string b equals to ekta what happens internally it comes here it first checks in string constant pool is there any value which is already ekta then it says yes it has it right so what it will do actually is it will just create a variable okay and this variable will also point to the same address okay so i already had ekta stored from a and now this b will also point to the same value okay so now i should not say actually the same value it would point to the same address jvm would not allocate different address for this particular variable why because value is same right if value is same why do you need a different address for it okay it can point to the same address right so now what's happening is though you see a and b as different variables but as they had the same value 
what JVM did was it got them pointed to the same address. Okay. Now, this was one thing. Second thing to remember, equals method always compares the values and double equal method always compares the addresses. Okay, as simple as that. Addresses or you can say references, whatever. Okay, so equals is comparing the values. Okay, now if I say a dot equals b, right? So a, which is eta dot equals b, okay, this thing dot equals compares the values. Is value of both of these same? Yes, it is same. So its output should be true, right? Okay, so our expectation is that its output should be true. Okay, now double equals compares the addresses or references. Okay, now if I say a double equal b, as we said, as value was same, what JVM did was it would point both a and b to the same address, not to the different address because the value was same. Okay, so in this case, a double equal B will also yield a result as true. Okay, so what you need to see before answering these questions, you need to check. Okay, if it is for dot equals, you should always check the value. Okay, if value is same, don't think of anything else. String, constant, pool, heap, memory, this, that, no, 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 nothing. Okay, value is same, it goes to true, nothing else. Okay, but when it comes to double equal, you need to think of all of it okay so you need to see if this values were same and if this holds the if the values were same and it was assigned just like this that means in string what jvm would have done was it would have pointed in pointed them to the same address and thus it's like addresses would be same and then it would hold a value true okay now a equals b what it does it actually does is it assigns the address of b to a okay but guys trust me this is just a confusing pattern because as we see here it already have the same address right as you see b and a is already having the same address okay so when i write a equals to b what is actually happening is b's address is getting assigned to a which is actually the same so anywhere around even now if i say a dot equals b the value remains the same so it is obviously true and then a double equal b the address still remains the same so this is also going to give you result as true okay now now comes the twist in the tail okay what is it now say i declare another variable called s1 okay i do not name it as just ekta instead what i name it as new string ekta right so as you know string is a class so i've created new object right so i've created an object of string class and assigned its value as ekta so when i'm explicitly saying it a new object it means obviously it has to assign it a new address okay so in this case what will happen is this value won't go to this particular string constant pool rather it would have another space allocated and here this would say ekta okay and then okay my s1 would point to this ekta okay why was that because i said explicitly new string ekta right okay so now if i say a dot equals okay it was s1 let me say it s2 okay so now if i say a dot equals s2 again as i said just compare the values okay so a value is ekta s2 value is ekta okay good enough answer should be true but now when i say a double equal s2 double equal compares to address is address 
is in string constant pool while s2 resides inside the heap memory right because a new string was attached to it it means we explicitly say jvm that okay assign it a new address so a new address has been assigned to this particular variable hence the addresses of a and s2 are different as we see in this particular diagram right and therefore this will say that no the, the addresses of a and s2 are not the same right now guys consider i said one more variable string s1 and this one i say again new string ikta okay now what would happen in this case let me just copy paste it okay so what would happen in this case guys if i say s1 dot equals s2 s1 value is ekta s2 value is ekta both values are same so it should go to true right now if i say s1 double equal s2 okay okay guys so please do not get confused i have said this variable assign a new address i have also said this variable assign a new address right so in my memory i will again have whenever i say new string it is bound to assign me a new address okay so again this s1 and s2 will be having a new address and this s1 double equal s2 will also give me false okay let's see this in our eclipse real quick okay so not this but i will just copy out all of this let me go to my eclipse okay so i am here and what are we going to do is we are just going to paste the entire code that we have written okay and now let's see the output for all of these okay so i'll just run my code let me save it and run it now okay so the first expectation was true the second one true again right the third one true fourth one true a dot equals s2 true again a double equal s2 false and then true false true false right so guys i hope i was able to make you understand how this double equal and dot equals concept work summarizing it dot equals compares the value double equal compares the reference or address okay string constant pool is a area assigned within or is a memory assigned within the java heap space which which stores the literal values okay so whenever you declare some general values in string it first goes and checks in the string literal pool if the values are already there it will create a variable but store it in the same or point it to the same address of that particular value okay and if you explicitly say is it that no 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 i i need to have a new address i need to have a new object for that so in that case it will assign you an another area within the heap and not in the string constant pool and thus that will hold a different address though the value remains the same okay thank you guys thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel in order to get more uh, like I'm I'm going to release few more videos on such interview questions so please subscribe to our channel also okay thank you for watching bye bye